What's going on people we are back again with another more madness video and this one right here is all about michael and his daughter now here's the thing last week she found out from his other daughter who's obviously from of course justin or justin's daughter should i say for that matter right that guess what we're moving and that's something that obviously wasn't nice to hear from somebody else now of course when it comes to michael's oldest child well she has issues with being left out also, and also most importantly she did have a very very strong relationship with her dad before he went inside and of course for him to come outside and then now pretty much to be prioritizing a whole other family over her is definitely something that isn't going to sit right and something that's definitely going to sting especially if your father is your hero but the Michael's daughter decides to confront him in this week's episode and say, hey, I know what's going on, but why the hell was I not told? And Kylie were getting ready in the room. They told me that you guys went into Vegas. And it made me feel some type of way because everybody else knows and I don't. Like that. I really don't know how everything is playing out yet, you know? I, I'm speaking to a few realtors, a few agents, so we're looking. We're just it's easier if we just all lived in the same state, honestly. The plans that I have and the ideas of what I'm trying to do and the place where I'm trying to go to are lucrative. Yeah. I want to be kept in the loop. Don't cry. I know the little ones. I don't want to confuse them. You know, they're small. They're not going to understand. So, I, you know, I got my moment where I'm going to okay. address everyone. But I just... Or finding out at, like, random times. Like, I would have liked it if you told me rather than hearing it from Kylie. Before we even get to the last little bit of the clip as well, I think the most important thing to be learned here is that uh, she is f upset. I wouldn't say fear, but she's upset with the fact that, uh, you know, she had to hear this from another, from another daughter. And to make it worse, a daughter that isn't even his. You see what I'm saying, okay? A daughter is a part of his new family, you know, his wife. You see what I'm saying, okay? So at the end of the day, I can understand her frustrations and her upsetness of finding out this way and not finding from her dad. In fact, if anything, she would have preferred if her dad had told her before even telling any other kid from another side. Do you know what I mean? One that not even related to him blood, only related to him by marriage. So I understand that, man. I understand how that can be uh, irritating, especially if your dad is your best friend. You know, he's the guy that you was with all the time before you went inside. And you had this tight ass freaking relationship. Then he comes out and then it's like, OK, dad, so when do you fit him in? Where are you going to fit me in? But then, of course, we know that Justin and Michael are pregnant. Well, yeah, they're, they're pregnant. And of course, they then had the baby reveal. And the baby was revealed has a girl. And this was the reaction of Melody. Jealous because I'm my dad's firstborn girl and I don't really live with him right now. A part of me feels like having a new baby is going to take a little time away from us. Because I mean, listen, can we blame her for her frustrations? You know, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, she's got to put up with the fact that her dad isn't going to live in the same state as her. You know, he tried, he tried to play down, but the reality is he's not going to live in the state, same state as her. And, uh, you know, it's one thing that he's not going to live with her. But it's a whole other ball game that he's going to be living in another state that isn't even like driving distance. OK, and then also on top of that, he's already got other girls that he's going to be bonded with that are not her. And then now there's a new baby coming along, which is actually going to be his with Justin. It's like, OK, so where the hell am I going to be at? Where are, you, where are you ever going to fit me in? So that resentment is going to build and build and build and build and build and build. So you know what, though? I feel for the girl. I absolutely do feel for the girl, you know. Um, but the thing is, you know, would I say that Mark is going about in this in the wrong way? It's subjective. It depends on how you want to look at it. I'm going to look at it in the perspective that he's going about it in the wrong way. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because, you see, if you know you've already got kids and you've already wasted time being in jail, not being there and not spending time with your kids, when you come out of jail, the first thing that you want to do, the first thing you want to do before after you come out of prison is make sure that you spend time with your kids. I mean, the kids that were in your life before anyone else's life. Any, the kids that were in your life before any other kids were in your life and the kids that were in life before your new woman's in your life. Because they've got to make sure and they've got to be reassured that, hey, dad's here, he's here to stay and he's going to be here for you no matter what. And he's not going to just disappoint you like he did before by going inside. OK, but instead he comes out, he's got a new woman, which is fine. But then the new woman's like, hey, we need to move. Oh, dad's like, we need to move. But then that means now it's like it's like basically she's in the same position that she was in this whole time. The whole the, the position that she was in before with him being inside is the same now because it's like, well, I couldn't see you barely anyway when you was inside. And now you're going to move all the way to another state. So I'm still not going to see you. Yeah, man, if I was in person, I'd prioritize his kids first, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. But hey, that's just my perspective. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you're thinking and uh, we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.